Well, a motorcyclist gets hit by a car in San Francisco and walks away with only bumps and bruises. Tonight, he tells Nightbeat's Andrea Borba what saved him. It only took five seconds for Taylor Smith to go from riding his motorcycle to getting hit by a car to nailing a landing Mary Lou Retton would be proud of. It was Wednesday at the corner of Ellis and Cyril Magnon near Union Square. Taylor was riding on his custom Daytona 675 and had his helmet cam on, waited for the light to turn green and took off. I did a final glance check in both directions, at which point I saw an oncoming car that had blown through the red light and looked like it was about to make imminent impact with me. That's when this happened. In one swift motion, Taylor was hit by a Volkswagen, flipped, only to land on his own two feet. Taylor says when he saw the crash coming, he had two thoughts. The first? Honestly, it's probably not something that should be repeated on the news. And the second? He remembered years of lessons learned in snowboarding falls. So I instinctively rolled my head and shoulder down and away from the car and tried to get as much of it on my back. Also helping, Taylor sticking with the motorcycle philosophy of ATGAT, which means all the gear, all the time. He was decked out in safety equipment, including a helmet, padded jacket, and boots. I really kind of had no idea what was going on because of the shock that had started setting in on me. Taylor was able to gather himself and show the video to SFPD when they showed up. I'm feeling good considering I got hit by a car last week. On the Night Beat, I'm Andrea Borba in San Francisco. Wow, absolutely amazing, lucky guy. Tonight, Taylor has black and blue knees, a sore back and ankle, along with a sprained wrist.